Copper, commonly called the metal of electrification, is essential to all energy transition plans. That is, the move from a fuel-intensive to a mineral-intensive energy system. However, several authorities have expressed alarm about whether there will be enough copper to meet the goals from the 2015 Paris Agreement, reducing global carbon emissions by 45% by 2030 and reaching net zero by 2050. In this video, we will explore copper supply and demand dynamics to highlight both the upcoming challenges we will face on the path to a more sustainable future, as well as the once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunities they represent. Copper has been in use for at least 10,000 years and continues to serve society's needs today and in the foreseeable future. To understand copper's significance, let's look at its usage through the last century. The global annual refined copper usage has increased by almost 5,000% from 1900 to 2020. The metal's excellent electrical conductivity makes it essential for many industries, such as transportation, infrastructure, and telecommunications. Today, one ton of copper powers, 30 homes, 65 conventional cars, 26 hybrid cars or 12 electric cars, 400 computers and 100,000 mobile phones. In 1950, the average copper usage per capita was 1.15 kilograms per year. In 2020, this number was closer to 3.25 kilos. By 2035, this is projected to reach over 5.5 kilos. Copper consumption, which has been gradually rising over the past 70 years, will now see a significant jump in a mere 15 years. But what will cause this surge over the next decade? And how can savvy investors benefit from it? According to Goldman Sachs's copper is the new oil report. There's no decarbonization without copper. Copper wires are abundantly used for most technologies critical to meet energy transition goals by 2050. That is, in batteries, electric vehicles, charging infrastructure, solar, and wind energy systems. The rapid, large-scale deployment of these technologies will generate a huge surge in copper demand. Goldman Sachs forecasts that this surge in demand driven by the energy transition, alongside traditional growth, will more than double copper demand from 25 million tons in 2020 to 50 million tons by 2050. Copper shortfalls are predicted to start by 2025 and will place unprecedented strain on supply chains. Compared to the 20th century oil frenzy, the rush for copper presents even greater challenges due to its concentration in both production and refinement. Analysts predict that the mineral exploration projects under development today won't be sufficient to offset the projected shortfalls in copper supply, even if their permitting and construction were accelerated Despite the once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity this scenario presents, copper exploration companies remain undervalued, often outperformed by high-risk and unregulated investments such as crypto and AI. Trading for under a dollar on the TSXV, exploration stocks in well-established mining jurisdictions such as Kodiak Copper and CopperX Resources are attractive additions to savvy investors looking to capitalize on the green energy rush of the 21st century. For more educational content on mineral exploration and mining, visit discoverygroup.ca slash industry insights.